Hey Capricorn and welcome to your tarot love readings. We are going to take a look at the messages for the one that loves you or the one that you might love here. As always guys, these messages here are going to be general, so please just keep that in mind throughout the reading. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here in the show more section, along with all the information that you will need. So the messages here are intended for Capricorn Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course for those of you that may be cross-watching as well. So let's take a look at the messages coming in. Okay, you've got the Two of Cups and you've got the Queen of Wands here. Okay, so this is someone who I feel like has, they feel a very close bond with you here. Possible water or fire energy you may be dealing with or someone who may have either um, in their either elements in their natal chart here this is someone who i feel like wants to draw closer with you i feel like their feelings for you here capricorn uh grow stronger and stronger every time that uh they see you or they hear from you this is someone who i feel like this person feels like they're your equal they're your vibrational match um someone who is the two of cups is two hearts two minds coming together it's this harmonious balance between two people it's joining forces it's coming together um in perhaps in marriage um or in you know some other special ceremony here um you know you see eye to eye with this uh individual and this is someone who i feel like is pledging their love to you or wants to pledge their love to you you know they want to offer you the cup of chalice and they want you to drink from their cup here um you're both on the same page you're on the same page you're on the same wavelength you're vibrating to that you know to the same emotional frequency here you're each other's vibrational match is what i'm seeing um very strong uh, very strong connection, very strong union here. Um, this person feels very emotionally bonded to you. I, I'm not sure if th perhaps the both of you have experienced something which might have been a little bit challenging or even traumatic in some way. I feel like that sort of strengthened your connection. Or for one reason or another, this person just feels very closely connected with you. Like you get them, like you understand them, like you speak their language here without even uttering a word you have the queen of wands here this is someone who i feel like they feel great they feel great about the connection that the two of you have they feel great about where they stand um they've got this confidence to them it's a quiet kind of confidence or perhaps this is how they see you you know someone who's got this quiet confidence someone who's very independent very self-sufficient someone who can handle his or her own here you know someone who's in control here notice the color symbolism used with the queen of wands a lot of yellows here so this person feels very optimistic um, a lot of growth here is what I'm seeing as well a lot of passion a strong passionate connection a strong emotional connection here okay and then you have the nine of swords um, what's going on here because with the nine of swords here you know you do have someone um, you've got someone who I feel like feels really good and then someone else who doesn't feel so good. What is it? It's like disturbing feelings or thoughts that are keeping you or keeping them up at night. So I'm not sure whose energy this is, but there is some sort of inner turmoil I, I feel. It could be a secret here that this person is holding on to, or maybe you're the one that's holding on to a secret. I feel like it's something that, um, something that is weighing down on you or is weighing down on this individual. It's something that I feel like they want to release. They, they're worrying about this excessively. It's, it has them feeling a little bit anxious. I feel like it's an inner turmoil rather than anything to do with the relationship. But I do feel like whatever it is can have, unfortunately, can or will have a significant impact on the relationship here. Something that I feel like it's just this... Maybe you are dealing with someone who's a little bit, you know... Um, like anxious, an anxious kind of energy is a little bit worrisome. Um, they're overwhelmed here. I'm not sure why. They're overwhelmed because I feel like there's something here that they keep going over and over in their heads. Okay. And then you've got the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay. Wow. This is, 
I mean, I feel like this person is your soulmate. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is a confirmation of this person being your soulmate, your destiny, perhaps even your twin flame here. Um, maybe this person is scared to lose you. I feel like for some of you, this is... Maybe you've crossed paths with this person in the past and, you know, the two of you made your mistakes and you've learned from them. You've had the opportunity to cross paths again and you didn't allow for this to be a mischance or a missed opportunity. The second time, you know, you're getting it right this time. But maybe deep down inside, someone here feels like they're scared to lose you. They're afraid to lose you. Or perhaps you might feel this way. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, I get that this person, it's like they feel as though they've traveled, <laughs> they've traveled the world what I'm getting is like it's, this person feels like they've traveled the world in search for the love that you give to them in search for the love that they share with you here it feels very powerful or if this is how you feel Capricorn um you might have met this individual online here some of you could have made could have sorry met on a dating um app or a dating uh platform of some sort or some sort of online platform here with the wheel of fortune um I mean, you've got a beautiful blend of energy here. I feel like this is, you know, um, this is chance, fate, destiny here. You can't avoid what is fated, and I feel like the two of you are fated for one another. Okay. Um, yeah, for some of you, I, I, I'm getting... I'm getting the... Um, the sense that you've crossed paths before and once again your paths were destined to meet your paths were destined to cross because you know whatever's meant for you will not miss you here so yeah i do feel like i mean that justice in reverse there's something here that they're keeping they want to tell you something but they're holding on to it maybe they feel like the timing is not right maybe they want to tell you just how much they're in love with you or you know have fallen in love with you but maybe they feel like it's a little too premature maybe they're scared of how you might react here maybe they're scared of rejection maybe they have some sort of in a turmoil that they don't know how to confront and they don't know how to deal with some sort of secret that they keep they want to release it but they're not coming forward with it just yet um, it's something that I feel like you should know though and they feel that you should know as well and with the Knight of Wands energy I mean on top of the Queen of uh, Wands here there's a lot of passion there's a lot of fire here that fuels this connection a strong chemistry a strong passionate energy here a lot of attraction yeah to me for a lot of you here Capricorns I'm getting that this is someone who may come in and out of your life but they always keep coming back yeah they leave you you might like go separate ways but yet somehow somehow um you guys are always you know you're always crossing paths so you're always coming back to one another and if you want to know why it's because this is fate it's a destiny at hand you cannot stop what is fated for you you've got the ace of cups here okay beautiful strong emotional connection strong emotional bond it feels very overwhelming because you guys do feel so it's like you guys almost know each other's, what's on each other's minds or what you're feeling. It's like you're really consumed with one another. You're really entering each other's energy field here, Capricorn. Um, very strong emotional bond, very strong emotional connection. A lot of emotions here, a lot of emotions. Especially right now, because I feel like there's something here either you or they are holding on to. It needs to be said. And with the Seven of Swords, I mean... I don't think they want to get away with something, but they feel as though they're holding on to something. And they know that they sort of don't want to be caught in a lie or caught in the act. This is why they sort of want to release the secret or release this information, whatever it is that they're holding on to. And I feel like they will. Oh, okay. And then I have the Five of Cups here. Okay. Um, yeah, to me, I feel like this person... I feel like this person is scared. They've lost you in the past. They've lost you or they had a missed chance or a missed opportunity with you. Or they have some, they have or had some sort of regrets here. It's something that I feel like they're still fixated on in the past. Maybe this person hurt you with, has hurt you in the past here. Maybe that's why it didn't necessarily work out the first time around. Um, but from what I'm getting here is that this person is still fixated on something here that's happened in the past that might have sort of caused... A hindrance in the connection here or has sort of stunted the growth of the connection here or was the very reason why the two of you have come apart there's some sort of regret or something that I feel like has happened in the past 
it may not necessarily be associated with you but something that's happened here in the past that I feel like they're still clinging on to um, all is not lost because okay they might have made their mistakes and you might have made yours and they might have hurt you or you might have hurt them but notice the two of cups that stand behind him all is not lost he Capricorn all is not lost and there you have it guys so thank you for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking commenting or sharing i will be sharing with you more general tarot love readings throughout the week so do stay tuned thank you guys again bye for now